New tonight, we have a warning for parents about a powerful drug responsible for the deaths of two teens in neighboring Utah. It's called Pink, and so far, no overdoses reported here in the metro, and we want to keep it that way. Sally Mamdu is looking into this powerful drug tonight. Two innocent young lives cut short. I feel lucky that our last words were I love you. Autopsy results released today show these two Utah teenage boys overdosed on pink. It's about eight to ten times as strong as morphine. Opioid expert Robert Valick says the synthetic opioid, known chemically as U47700, was discovered back in the 70s but never went into clinical trials or sold in the market. The patent for that sat around. And the formula for that apparently has fallen into the hands of chemists uh, around the world. The DA says pink is mainly coming in from China through online orders. It takes just seconds to place an order. This site in China sells 50 grams for $500. And this other site advertises just how potent the drug is. So far, the DEA says the drug is to blame for at least 17 overdoses and several deaths in the United States. Valak says because the drug starts as a powder, it can be repackaged into pills that mask what the substance really is. It's become sort of the Wild West of you know, chemistry in the basement with this whole opioid and heroin epidemic, and it's just gotten to be really, really scary. Now, and because this drug was coming in legally, the DEA just decided to make it an illicit drug by putting it in the same category as other illicit drugs like heroin. So far, about five states banned the drug. In the newsroom, Sally Mamdu, Denver 7. Sally, thanks.